Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. So today, May 4, our index closed higher today, up 1.21% or up 81.65 points to close at 6,802.73. So it's a mark on close, no? So most of the day, no? I think, uh, market is really weak no Ch last minute buying push our market higher today no uh volume is also muted if you remove that uh big uh cross transaction in m rate no there's a i think 1.8 uh billion uh buy and sell order by video securities in m rate no uh, this is why the volume is kind of what's the right term for that? Uh, inflated, no? Madaya. <laughs> Tanggalin mo yun. No? Wala nang volume mo market. It's very thin, no? Uh, as uh, if you are new to this market, there's what we call nga sell in May and go away, no? Uh, historically, second quarter is really weak. No, it's always the first quarter. No, uh, based on historical, uh, ano lang tayo, no? Based from past performances, no, our market is really doing well. Fourth quarter, uh, then there will be some spillover effect the following year, no? First quarter. This is also the reason. Sabi ko nga, we really need to break that seven thousand five hundred as early as siguro, fe January, February. But unfortunately, uh, something bad happened. No? Last February, uh, Russia attacked Ukraine, no? which uh, triggered a sell-off no? despite good corporate earnings from big cap names such as SM, uh, BDO, yung mga ganun, no? Wala, no? Because of that war, uh, Despite that war, no, kahit malayo, what's I cannot find the right term, no. Despite that we're far from from Ukraine, we're affected because of higher oil prices. So that uh, push our inflation to around four percent, and we're just waiting for the uh, April's number, no, for inflation, but. Expect it to be higher, no, from from March, no, because of higher uh, oil prices, higher electricity prices, no. <coughs> anyway, no, uh, it's just bargain hunting that push our market higher today, no. Uh, investors are still waiting for the upcoming Philippine inflation data and the Fed uh, Reserve's policy decision, no. So, yung Monday, no. Uh, our index uh, declined no? because of uh, tighter policy actions from uh, Fed Reserve and faster inflation for the month of April. No? Uh, we also reported a uh, the lowest value turnover last Monday. Right now, I think uh, it's a 6 billion, but most of the volume came from that uh, big. Uh, Cross in M rate, no. Anyway, uh, even DTI Secretary no Ramon Lopez expects that our economy will still grow this year, but not as fast as the uh, government's seven to nine percent target because of the impact on the Russia Ukraine war. No? So we we need to factor that. In, no, uh, right now it's election year. There are a lot of uncertainties. No, whoever whoever wins on May nine, no, uh, it will take some time for the market to digest. No, because uh, uh, he or she, no, needs to form a team. No, in cabinet members, na siya sabi natin. No. Uh, of course, the president is the figure uh, leader, no, the head. 
but it's his or her cabinet that's doing the 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 business no this is also why uh, I'm already looking at their economic team no whoever wins uh, in the next election no? of course if BBM wins no uh, I think his classmate no si Wasmer who worked for BDO uh, will be the uh, finance secretary who will be represent who will be uh, replacing Sunny Dominguez, no. If Lenny wins, uh, there's no clue, eh, no. But I just hope na he or she, no, will choose a capable finance secretary, no. Uh, it's normal that cabinet secretaries are being recycled, eh, as long as you're qualified, no. I think uh, during the time of Pino, it was Cesar Purisima. No, after uh, he was replaced by Sunny Dominguez, no, he was invited to several board, no, sa mga listed companies, URC, etc. No, uh, he's a bright guy, no. But whoever wins, no, in the next election, I hope they retain Neda Secretary Carl Chua. He's a very bright guy, no. Used to work for uh, ADB, I think, no. Anyway, uh, the first 100 days of the sitting president no, will be also crucial. No, do not my key the uh, we will see the trajectory, no, uh, or the direction of his or her uh, term. No, ano yung focus niya dun, no, which uh, field, no, during the time of. Uh, Duterte, it was a build, build, build. No, during his time, we saw mega white uh, went to as high as twenty pesos. Uh, it was also his time that Chelsea was listed, despite being incorporated few months after he got elected. No, so let's see. No, of course, in the latest survey, you, we can see that BBM is still leading at around 53%. But uh, unfortunately, you know, I don't believe in in that survey. Why? Can you see that mammoth crowd Lenny is attracting wherever she goes? No, I don't think that's 20%. Eh. No? There's something wrong with how they conducted the surveys uh, no, that's not definitely that's definitely not 23 percent or 22 percent and if you you're saying that BBM is getting 53 percent no it only means that you're getting uh, the majority of the votes no? you need to get uh, remember no Duterte won last 2016 with around 16 million votes you still need to add uh, the votes from Grace Poe, from from Binay, from Mar Rojas, no? That's to that's impossible, no? And if you check the demographics of the voting population right now, there's more youth, no? Than the elderly populations, no? The youth. Uh, <laughs> The youth population is definitely under surveyed, no? so there's something wrong with that. No. Anyway, may the best candidate win. I just hope he or she will be a pro Filipino, no, pro will protect the interests of our nation. No? So welcome to another lecture. No? So as you know, the market is it going anywhere right now? Uh, you, as you can see, the market drops every morning then a buy on close order will lift our market higher no we'll just voila, no or at least there's some support no but uh, we really need uh, institutional investors to return uh, to our market no we really need to attract foreign investors we our funds cannot do it alone this is also the reason why uh, we are uh, having a hard time breaking that 7,500 resistance. Just imagine, can you uh, ima can you imagine that 
our market will trade sideways for the next six years. No, that's that's a problem. No? And I think the best candidate for the job is a woman. No? So let's see. Hoping for the best. And uh, welcome. No, so please follow PSC Stock Tips daily on Facebook and Chinoy Diary. No, uh, unfortunately, in I really need to uh increase my subscriber base for this channel first of all um, uh, so th this is also the reason why i'm uploading this on my chinoy diary uh, page but i try to separate uh these two channels no but yeah you know, thank you for for helping me grow thank you for uh supporting this channel despite uh the market dropping no Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. No, uh, I really like engaging uh, with my viewers. No, you know, there are a lot of questions that I'm not familiar. No, whenever I do this vlog, no, it's on the spot. No, I don't have any notes. I don't have anything. No, so and I'm happy that I'm helping other uh, Filipinos. No. Anyway, you know, Megawide, no, Megawide also uh, formally received the notice of award from Department of Transportation, no, which provides the contract for the uh, two underground stations, no. We're talking about the Ortigas North and Ortigas South, and the tunnels of Metro Manila subway project has been awarded to the joint venture between Megawide and. Tokyo Tobishima no oh, prof is this a good news of course it's a good news but unfortunately there's no appetite for them for equities right now no? uh, if and only if we're in a bull market then any news no will have an impact to 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 the company to the stock no it's a supply and demand eh? right now there's what we call risk off no oh prof uh isabong was already suspended why is it uh why uh, web went up no uh, web, web went up because of uh, speculation it is owned by uh bbm's brother-in-law no? like what i said in my past video we're watching web because uh like what I said also if you are if you've been listening to this uh, YouTube video for the past few months uh, there's a big possibility that Isabong will be suspended and yesterday I, I think or the other day no Isabong was formally uh, suspended by Duterte no? so Atong Ang's pit uh, master no complied with that no because he has some uh, clarifications we all know that Sabong or cockfighting is one of the oldest uh, hobby or oldest form of gambling. Uh, it's been there eh, since what, no? And because of the pandemic, it only accelerated. No, it only uh, it accelerated its growth. No, uh, its popularity. No. Because of the access, eh, before you need to go to to cockfighting arena. I think there's one in in Retiro, in La Loma, and uh, I can't. I, I don't know the other places. Now, right now, with a smartphone, you can watch, you can place your bets, no. And this is also the reason why Globe has been weak. No? Of course, they have some exposure there as a platform. They have access. Eh? Uh, it's a problem with that. There, uh, Gcash is a platform, no? Uh, you put your money in the in Gcash, then you imagine, no? Uh, a college student or even minors can place their bets, no? Of course, they they need to scrutinize that. They need to check. They need to verify the age. But it's very accessible. Unlike before, you need to go to the cock. Uh, arena, no cockfighting arena to place your best. It's very easy, no. I I don't. I cannot understand the the game, you know. So it's you need to place, no. 
red and white no mer sa pula or sa pute no if you place uh bets on both i don't know no so let me uh please help me no understand how cock fighting uh works but uh of course gcash is affected pay my is also affected uh but it's also one of the biggest revenue driver for our govern government unfortunately uh the uh, the taxes that we collect from isabong no is very minimal compared uh for the lives we lost no just imagine no people are getting addicted no uh because of this uh, form of uh, gambling no and there's a lot of sabongeros uh who's missing no and wala no it only boils down to to the risk no but right now just imagine no where will the government uh, get the lost revenue from from this no so they could increase their taxes on 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 liquor on sin taxes uh they could collect uh more revenues or taxes from from mining no uh just today no Semirara also announced that they will be they already completed the backfiling operations no in Panian which is once the largest open pit mining in the Philippines uh Philippines is very rich in natural resources we have gold copper nickel mines all over the country we need to take advantage of that no it's like uh in the middle east no it's a barren land then they took advantage of their strength eh? they found oil and yun dun nag boom right now for the philippines no uh if we remove corruption if we remove uh if we remove no we can if we just take advantage of our strengths no uh from from these natural resources then we could uh Uh, improve no definitely we need to take advantage yun, yun sa mining natin no there are several uh mining sites out there what we want to do right now is responsible mining there's a lot of small mining companies out there eh, but they're doing it the wrong way no uh for for one no you need to develop the site then after developing it uh after the mine uh, gets depleted you need to rehabilitate that uh this is also the reason sabi ko ano uh we go for responsible mining companies in the pocket uh mining company we just buy no there's also a risk of being suspended because of uh illegal operations no and semirara is far from that no they been awarded as one of the best uh mining companies out there no just imagine they spent millions to rehabilitate a depleted mine no and right now from their initial 10 year plan they were able to complete it uh within that period and they will they spent millions no and they have a scientific approach for that no uh after the use and abuse the mine no uh they use a scientific method to to rehabilitate no at least uh build an ecosystem from that mine no so congratulations to semirara no they also announced that they will be increasing their production no slightly no for coal no of course coal is something uh we need no but as the world shifts from coal to renewables no uh, we can see uh coal uh demand to at least lessen no in the next few years no but it will take time no for the world to to shift hindi siya yung tipong next year renewables na lahat it's not like that no? it will take at least five to ten years no but uh, the world is going green
<coughs> oh. Mega World, no? Uh, Mega World will be increasing their capital spending for their Bacolod townships to around 45 billion, no? We're talking about their project in Upper East, no? As they ramp up their construction activities inside the 34 hectare township near the Bacolod uh, Government Center. They also announced their M rate, no? Which is, I think, uh, the increase, no? Their distributable income. This is also why there's a big cross in M rate, 1.8 billion, no? This is also the reason why the volume today is very is inflated no daya no? so it increased 18 percent no quarter on quarter to around 639 million driven by its recent acquisitions no so congratulations no Unfortunately, there's still no news on DDMPR. No, I remember that. No, there's no dividend announced. Uh, this is why it's been on a uh, sell off, no? a new 52 week low. No? Manila Mining, no, uh, aside from Lepanto, this is uh, the sister company of Lepanto, no. Uh, they are also eyeing a stock rights offering of around 519 million to fund their exploration project. No? Uh, as you know, no, every X number of years, Lepanto and Manila Mining keeps asking money from investors no, through a stock rights offering. Is it legal? Of course. Uh, that's why they're listed. It's the, it's the, it's their form of asking money from, from from their shareholders this is also the reason why there are companies that are generous to shareholders and there are companies that are uh what's the right word? greedy or thrifty to shareholders and the only time i will buy lepanto and manila mining if they decide to sell the majority stake uh, to another group in 2011 lepanto went to as high as two pesos because of news that mvp bought a 5% or 10% stake in Lepanto at 60 centavos. Of course, uh, and there's uh, some news that a big African company, no, Far East, will also invest in Lepanto. So I went, it went to as high as 2 pesos. It's one of the super stock that time. Uh, if you've been in the market, you also know that Lepanto used to be part of our index. And right now, it's one of the penny stock out there. Manila Mining is also uh, once a darling of our market no there are several uh, funds who bought manila mining i think bpi you know, in 2011 no? there's what we call super cycle for mining stocks that time d zone went to as high as 50 pesos uh manila mining i forgot no kung saan umabot no and right now they're asking money again no? so it's been quite some time no and they had yet they have yet to operate uh, Felix went to a size 30 pesos on news that uh, MVP bought uh, a majority stake no, through a DBP loan. That's one of the most controversial deal that, hap uh, that happened in the, in the last 15 years. No? Roberto Ongpin, SSS, Manny Panginitan got involved. No? And you can check the internet to verify those. Uh, and I'm closely monitoring Lepanto and Manila Mining is because, hey, the founder is quite old na. If you know Felipe Yap, no, he's known he's known as Lolo. He's old, no. Definitely, uh, he needs to retire. No? And the most logical uh, way is to sell the business and to another group, no. At least the majority and let his kids uh, enjoy no i think his kid no si brian brian yep no you know let let other explore no or at least fun money pangilina is the money no but even his felix no also deferred their stock rights offering because of poor market conditions no mpi speaking of uh, money panglina mpi no they expect uh the opening of their new 
Expressway, we're talking about CC Links or the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, will uh, gradually boost the earnings of its toll road business. No, uh, we're we're in the plan to list their subsidiary toll road business by 2024 and their hospital business by 2025, and in an advisory, no, uh, Metro Pacific informed that please don't stop at any point. No, there's a new expressway just imagine it's an eight kilometer expressway there's there are a lot of people using that emergency bay no to park and take picture no? that's emergency i know just in case your your car uh gets some trouble no hindi siya pang picture taking the same with intramuros binondo bridge no people are what no it's a new tourist attraction right now there's grabe lahat ng bridge na lang no anyway gt cap no their subsidiary toyota no also issued a recall no or a special service campaign on their uh, 132 uh, lexus nx no and rav4 hybrid electric vehicles due to an issue with their stability control system no there's nothing exciting but voila needed to discuss no cnpf which finally bought the trademarks for the lego brand no posted a 10% uh, growth last quarter versus the same period last year no the branded segment uh, sales outperformed posting double digit growth driven by the company's value for money brands and the essentials and staple nature of its portfolio no it's a good acquisition no for their lego brand unfortunately lego is not the number one in that segment it's mega sardines by the tulim family which we are still waiting to be listed in the market no the founder uh tulim is si william tulim is quite old na rin, no he has his uh building in quezon city i think a hotel no it's his son running the business right now but uh he's quite old of course everyone's dreaming of listing uh in the exchange no it's in their dna no magkakasama yan sila william bello of uh wilcon uh see si William Chulim no everyone wants to be listed no and mega sardines is the number one in that category no if cnpm performs well then mega sardines will definitely uh will list in the next five years no of course you can also verify that right now we're still waiting for north star meat no which is the supplier for sm bonus meets to to list in our exchange with with mar with poor market conditions like this uh there's no appetite eh? even frutas the balay ni frutas was also moved no uh raslag was also moved uh vista rate was also moved no everyone is in a, is on a wait and see mode uh because of election no? so prof what's the right strategy right now no if you have any positions right now uh, and if it's too late to cut, then just hold it. Why? Uh, just imagine cutting your position right now. You're down 50%. Where will you put your money? No, We're talking about quality names here. Ah. If you bought, uh, for example, Converge at 30 pesos or even 31. But, uh, for example, Converge was also added to the index. I believe Converge has uh, Converge has been weak for the past few days because there was an overhang. No? It looks like there's another block transaction that will be consummated at least in the next three, four weeks. No, uh, it looks like Warburg Pincus will be selling more shares. No? Uh, example, you bought. We're talking about quality names, no. Uh, but everything is down right now. If you bought uh, PLDT or Globe at uh, two five two six, are already down, what ten, fifteen, twenty percent. No? 
then just probably wait till the election uh, fever is gone no historically uh, six months after election or six months after uh, yeah no our market is up what five to ten percent no and one year after election our market continues to rally it's during the the fourth of fourth and fifth year of the sitting president no dun humihina and there's some uh, sell off during the last two three years of Duterte's administration no during the time of Pinoy uh, our market uh, flew no it's one of the best performing uh, index if the best performing market out there no we had some investment grade uh, investment upgrade from credit uh from Moody's, no. So yun, no. So unless you're holding some trash, there's nothing we can do. But if we're talking about globe, no, we're talking about uh, PLDT, no. I'm totally fine with that, no. Picor, no. Their uh, sales volume is up 34 percent, no to around 25.67 million barrels for uh, last quarter because of higher demand and easing of mobility restrictions. No? Net income is at 3.6 billion, which is more than the 1.73 billion they reported last year. No? Uh, there, no? CLI, which is one of the property companies we are monitoring because they've been continuously expanding no, it's owned by uh, the Soberano family. No, uh, will be accelerating their expansion in Eastern Visayas with their recent launch of Casa Mira, no, which is a 685 unit subdivision project. No, and will expect and expected revenues will be around uh, two billion. No. So there. No. Aside from that, no. Someone asked me about S. Neck. Why is it weak? It's generally the market conditions, and it looks like that Leandro Leviste is already preparing some funding, no, outside from the stock rights. I don't think he will pursue uh, stock rights offering by May or June, the earliest, no, with con with market condition like this, no. It, he will just defer it. No, there's no appetite. Why will you let? Why will you uh, sell? Uh, why will you li why will you do uh, but may pipilit no what's the right term for that why will you uh, kaya nga he's also talking to several banks to finance the banks right now are uh, they're ha they're giving uh, preferred rates eh, for 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 projects that's into renewables no green green bonds nga kaya nga uso yung ASE no green bonds Asian has been weak the other day because of the overhang that uh, Ayala created. No, they already declared a uh, property dividend. No, for every one shares of Ayala you own, you get three Asian shares. No, and that will uh, boost Asian's public float to twenty percent. No, so for Espinacion. No, of course. Uh, the other news on on Leviste. No, the other son of. Uh, Loren Legarde we're talking about uh, you can see you know, there's an open letter that he's regretting no? cannot find the right no? you can you can check the internet no no uh, he was shocked no when Loren Legarda is running under the uh, ticket of BBM and Sarah no of course um, She's fighting for the truth and justice as a journalist, but uh, yun, no? so there's some internal uh, conflict between mother and son. No? So if you don't know, he's the son of uh, former Governor Antonio Leviste who shot his former aide uh, 15 years ago. No? So... We're lucky, no? We're still... Uh, just imagine, you have everything. Uh, 
the world can offer. You have money, but they're not happy with their lives. Just imagine your mother, no? Uh, provided you with everything. Tapos, uh, did this own na lang, no? Yikes. So, what else, no? B, B, uh, Bank of Commerce, I think I saw it drop kanina no i think it went to as low as 10 pesos and 20 centavos but on low volume no it's in the dna of of uh ramon ang no just watch just observe eagle cement no it's also owned by ramon ang's uh, family uh it can easily go down and go up no but uh i'm not bullish on bank of commerce because there's a lot of better banks out there. We're talking about cheaper banks such as Metro Bank at around 50 pesos is a buy. No? Once the market improves, once we reopen our economy, then these quality names, mauna o makyat, no? they will be the first one to move. Unfortunately, there's no appetite. No? Let's see, once we elect our next leader. No? So, there. What else? Uh, Dito is I think below its uh, stock rights. I don't know. And GCP, no? Uh, there's some news that they are suggesting that the next May 10 to be declared a holiday just in case. No, there's a. There's para walang power interruption, but I don't think that's the right approach for that. Dapat nga inayos nila before that, no? Uh, the ICT also announced that there are more foreign telcos who's eyeing the entry in the Philippines. No, of course, more competition. The better for us. No, we have more. Uh, ultimately, it's the Filipinos who's the winner here. No, even Starlink will be operational by by June. No, and it's not a threat. No, why? Because. People will not just shift to Starlink because there's a another product there, no. For you to afford Starlink, you must be <laughs> at least you you can afford I think twenty five thousand installation plus five or ten thousand monthly fee, you no, know, which is a lot, no. Uh, and I don't think it is really that fast, no. Fiber is still the gold standard, no, in my opinion, no. Uh, s low orbit satellites are okay if you're living outside. Metro Manila. We're talking about uh, mountains, bundok, uh, or or those areas na there's no uh, civilization. No, talagang it's really uh, rural areas. No, it's the right term. Pero wala eh. no? Anyway, uh, let's see. No what's happening on the market in GCP where I discussed this Toyota uh, what else anyway uh, our passcode for today is vote wisely no there's nothing I can think of no so please vote na lang no whether if you're uh, BBM, if you're Lane, if you're Kakamping, Kakamping, Lakson, uh, if you're for Manny Pacquiao. Well, there's news na. Manny Pacquiao is really the dark horse here, no? He's number three, but according to his campaign manager, no? Si Buddy Zamora, who is also the founder of Nickel Asia and the former chairman of PTT, no? Manny Pacquiao is the real dark horse, no? Uh, and could, uh, could uh, give us some surprise, but I don't think, eh, no? Malabo. It's Lenny, I think, is very... Because she's getting the attention. She's speaking at the right time. I don't believe in the surveys, no? Because no. if, if, if that is only 23%, Hindi ganun itsura nun eh. Just imagine in the meeting of meeting the advance of uh, 
Duterte last 2016, it attracted around 500,000 people. And Duterte got around 16 million votes. No? Lenny Robredo was able to get around 480, 450,000 from her birthday party in Pasay. And this Saturday, you know, Lenny Robredo is targeting at least 500,000 from her meeting the advance in Makati, which will start at 4 a.m. Yes, there's a prayer vigil that will start at 4 a.m. It's a whole day event. Uh, Makati, for some, is very elitist, no? but it's very symbolic. No? If you don't know, there's a Ninoy Aquino uh, monument in Ayala Triangle. No? Not everyone is familiar with, with that, but there's a Ninoy Aquino uh, no? and there's a lot of uh, it's very symbolic no? uh, when they want to oust Gloria Macapagal Arroyo 15 years ago no? uh, there's what we call the infamous Manila Pen Siege no? by Trillanes no? talagang duwag dapat no? go home or uh, or, 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 or die no? dapat ganun pero he surrendered he just created a chaos no? I re we really don't need that kind of chaos no? uh, that's creating a political crisis. No? As much as I uh, like Lenny, I just hope that uh, we respect uh, the electoral process. We need to respect whoever wins. If BBM wins or if Lenny wins, we need to respect. Hindi yung we need to, oh, we like this, oh, it's a dos, it's a tres. No? It's creating fear in the market. Anyway, good luck to us. No. Good luck to everyone here. No. So, I'm, I, I just wonder, no, why is Grace Poe quiet the past few days? Now, of course, if you don't know, uh, Grace Poe is the adopted daughter of Fernando Poe and Susan Roses. If you've been in the market, if you've been living, no, if you are around 50 or 6 years old, no, there's what we call urban legend that Grace Poe is the uh, daughter of Marcos Sr. with the sister of Susan Roses. No? Kaya nga, uh, no one believed that she was a found link nakita lang outside the church then uh, cardinal sin decides to to give her to the di ba? parang wala eh no? why is it why is she quiet no anyway no still let's vote wisely Jerwan, happy holiday, Prof. Nakapag-vote na kami abroad via mail in voting. Let's hope for a peaceful election and better government. I agree with you, no? Regardless, no? Just imagine, no? There's what we call a doomsday scenario when, in the U.S. nga, no? When Donald Trump won, no? Hey! U.S. will tank, blah, 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 blah. Look, no? No? Because diba, they're favoring Hillary Clinton that time, and when Duterte, uh, when Duterte, tuloy, when Donald Trump won, no, uh, the market I think you know, performed well, nga. Just imagine, no. Uh, Donald Trump is also a fan of Vladimir Putin in Russia, no. So there's what we call a good relationship eh, between these two countries. They they respect each other. No? Well, at least in my in my eyes, no. Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. Kaya nga when when we the U.S. got uh, its new president, no, that's the only time na uh, Vladimir Putin attack Ukraine, no. Was PLDT selling partly in consideration for BSP's interest hike in the near future? Of course, B PLDT has to raise their uh, money, no? They they monetize this. I'm not really sure if it, it, they're considering uh, the interest rate hike, no? They're into a telco business. There's what it's a high risk business. Imagine 
you are maintaining a tower, a tower business which is a high risk because of uh, because from uh, you're protecting it from uh, attacks from from terrorists no how much are you spending to protect no just sell it no and just lease it no that's better rpldt and globe also more vulnerable to interest hike other than giant companies in other sectors no it depends no Where people are already afraid of interest hike but how much no the how much is BSP raising no, is also a consideration. We need to, the BSP cannot just in, uh, increase their their interest hike no, by gradual no. Uh, gradually, the market will able to digest that no. What's uh, causing uh, PLDT and uh, Globe to drop is their involvement in this isabong and also the entry of new players. The market forces also. No? There's no appetite for equities right now. Cesar Gaming Central, Ronnie Hartwell, Claudio, WM, ERC, Albert Baxal, Jason Chan, and this one, Gaming Central. No, Prof, can you discuss the business model of Espinec? No, At, like what I said. No, the current model of Espinec, no, based on the IPO prospectus. Espinec is basically Solar Nueva Ecija. It has no operations. They will use the proceeds no, to buy a land that will be operational and construct some uh, the first phase, which will be operational by around September, October this year. Uh, the plan was really to infuse the other projects of solar. No? Sol solar mother solar or solar Philippines at a price of two pesos and fifty centavos. Of course, they cannot infuse that without increasing the authorized capital stock. There's nothing. There's they cannot. They cannot. There's no more shares left. This is also why they need to increase the authorized capital stock, which is also the reason why I am telling you it will take at least. Uh, at least six to eight months for that to happen. Kaya nga the earliest time they will do that asset for share swap will be probably fourth quarter this year. And with that, Leandro Leviste decides to, hey, let's do a mini stock rights offering. Unfortunately, there's a rule that they cannot do a fundraising activity, at least a stock rights offering within six months from listing. This is also the why, this is also the reason uh, the earliest time that they will do a stock rights offering no, will be around June. But with condi market conditions like this, I believe SRO will be delayed or at least deferred to a much later time. No, This is also the reason that SPNEC is currently talking with several banks to finance some of their projects. At least what we need to find out uh, at least the good news here as long as uh, as long as what's the right term basta matuloy lang to asset for share swap the price is already set at 2 pesos and 50 centavos so why worry no basta matuloy lang yan no? the market will find a reason no to correct no, GSIS bought around 100 ilang million shares. So I forgot. No, it's a big block at 1.71. No, and it looks like uh, they're not done buying yet. Of course, with market conditions like this, they're taking advantage of the weakness. I saw how BDO Securities dump around six or ten million shares at one peso and fifty centavos. No, nag, nag sellers price pa yan with around six or eight million shares only for abacus to gobble or buy everything at 150 no so there no nakita ko sabi oh breakdown no of course they take advantage it's there's no rush buying no uh, they want everyone to sell their positions and they no and it will be easier for it to go up once they corner uh, the shares no 
anyway yun nga uh, what's good about uh, Solar Philippines is the, for the past uh, 5 or 10 years Leandro Levisa has already planted the seed no for that they already got the approval from Department of Energy no and solar is free no sun energy it's the cheapest form of uh, energy out there no you don't need a big uh, a big power plant or what no but it's all it all boils down to supply and demand eh? it will only g go up once the supply once the de there's a big demand over supply you know same with other stock no uh, why is it cheap because no one wants them no why is it ace and dropping no no one's want no one wants them right now no it went to as size 13 pesos no but like what i said before no uh let the market decide if it's undervalued or overvalued but around even at six pesos it's overvalued no but the market is always paying premium no because it's an ayala brand and I think April no, was also bash because uh, Acer went to as high as 13 pesos. But uh, like what she said, no, the fair value of Acer was just around 5 or something like that. No, It's market forces who dictated the price. But uh, like what I said, after the speculation stage, it's all it all boils down to, to deliverables. No? And it will take some time. Right? Uh, of course, ASA, no? they're on target to reach 5,000 megawatt capacity story. Everyone knows about that. Uh, right now, they need to recalibrate and will be targeting probably 10 gigawatt by 2030. No? But they already raised close to 50 billion pesos last year through stock rights, follow on offering, and green bonds. No? And they already met the 20% liquidity for index inclusion by, uh, by December 2022. No? So it all boils down to supply and demand. Everyone has uh, ASEN. So yun, that's the reason. Eh, no? For SPINEC, uh, it, it's mostly owned by retail investors. And for GSIS, no, which you can see, it's, they own around 170 or 190 million shares. No? You can check the top 100 shareholders. No? Uh, they're not done buying, no. It looks like that they will buy more, no. But of course, they're taking some time, no. There's no rush with this kind of market, no? And GSIS, GSIS is just one investor out there. Uh, I'm looking at more institutional investors to buy SPINEC at the right time, no. Dig Leandro Levise has to deliver first, no. We're talking about uh, if ASEAN has Aran. FGEN has KKR, even FGEN no, is now at 23 pesos, new 52 week low, KKR bought at 32 pesos. AP has Japanese investor in JSA, JERA, no, JERA. No, I would be surprised if SPNEC attracts what? Uh, the Norges, uh fund, no? Because the world is going green, no? It's just, it will just take some time because of uh, a lot of uncertainties are happening in the market right now no uh, covid situation we're in even there's a slowdown in china because of rising uh, cases there in taiwan no? in south korea tapos tayo we're not reporting we're just reporting about 200 300 cases i don't believe that no most likely we are not reporting or we're not testing no that's why you new numbers no? but after elections let's see but we really need to live with the virus, no? From a pandemic mindset, no, we're slowly shifting to an endemic mindset. We're just treating COVID like any other flu, no? So, uh, yun, no? Stay safe. God bless. Thank you for listening, no? Bye-bye.